All right. So what I'm gonna do now is I've been, you know, you saw last time, sanded all this off. We're not gonna do any more big pieces, but I got just a few before I put the high build on. Just a few little places that I know is gonna stick out. So what I'm doing is like, you know, maybe this little piece, you can see that's definitely a low spot. You can see this little bitty, but like little bitty small areas like that. You know, I'm just walking around, you know, kind of feeling like you can see that's a little bit of a gouge right there. So I'm gonna just come back and fill that up. You know, got a little bit of a gouge right there. <clears throat> and then on this corner, you can see this side here, maybe you can see this side here is pretty sharp. I just wanna build this piece right here up a little bit. And then maybe this, and so, just been walking around you can see like that's just a little bitty little bitty gouge that's a little bit of a little like a dimple i can feel obviously that and that this is a little rough low spot so i'll just kind of come in here and try and pull a little square like that and just maybe pull it this way feel that little low spot right there you know stuff like this but that's all i'm gonna do is i got you know maybe 15 of these little spots a little bitty stuff like this and like this You see last time when I was sanding this and maybe I'll show it right here But you can see that this didn't Didn't pick up but as I feel this across here that it falls off right here for sure So I'm gonna try and just pull some You know right here Try and just pull that right there and then let that harden and then come back try and build this corner up right here a little bit and uh, other than that we're gonna go ahead and get this thing one color uh, posted. You see here a picture, you know, and I've, I've already felt some heat on this because of, uh, on the paint side, because it's too much. Well, here's the deal. I don't know how many coats I'm gonna have to put on here on the high build. So I got more than what I needed. They have to special order it. You know, it took me about two months to get it last time. So I'm just not fighting that. So I'm gonna get what I need so when I need it, when I have time to do with it, I've got it on hand. And I don't have to worry about running out. Because I still got to do the whole bottom in blue. I'm probably going to do the console in blue. All the live well, release well, ice chests are going to be with the blue, the white. And I don't care if I have too much. I'll find other stuff to do with it. So that's kind of where I'm going with all this. You can, you know, I'm kind of walking around. You know, I was thinking about pulling some putty in there. But I'm going to just put the high build on it and see what happens. You know this you know it's a you can just feel that i mean it's like it's got a little gouge right here you know just pull a little piece all i'm gonna do is try and just take my little small trowel you know i may take the wide one but all i want to try and do is spread it just right here in this little area just right there man just little bitty pieces um but we're gonna go ahead and put some high build on it and see what happens so here we go the little app on my phone i'm able to turn my gopros on with it and uh just gonna do a little overhead here you can see i got a camera on my head right here just mixing up some total boat total fare uh just take a scoop of the yellow or the you can do either one first as long as you keep them separate uh, but you just kind of use equal portions and it's what i've found is it's very forgiving and uh that I looks like it's close. about equal so I just kind of wanted to talk through some stuff right here as we get started as I mix all this stuff up, that little wiggle there uh, just kind of seems to help me get it mixed up. So while we're running through that, this is a tough episode because um, when I get to the painting stuff later, it, I really, really struggled not having ever done this before and like looking back on it, it's, it's just so hard to believe that I struggled like I did. Um, but it's just to me further evidence that this is you know I've never done this before so it's you know I deal with chemistry and I'm oh, very man, very good much. with numbers by and large and it was uh, very surprising that I just couldn't get my head wrapped around this and I was just you know I was kind of nervous about dealing with this paint and all so I feel like you know after I've done it now looking back you know it's easy but for anybody out there trying to do this and looking at it just you know just pay attention um, hopefully I can point out some things here watch plenty of stuff you know Andy with Boatworks today I think has done a good job and he's kind of who I've turned to especially dealing with this Alex seal or Alex seal as he calls it but whatever it is 
But uh, I, you know, I've said from the beginning that I was going to leave the good, the bad, and the ugly. And there's plenty of ugly. But uh, when we get later, so just pay attention or, or bear with me, and we'll see how it goes. Right here, I'm just. Uh, I think I just talked through you know, how I'm going to work on a couple of these little small areas. I'm just going to show you a couple. As you can see, I kind of used one scraper as a pallet and the other one, you know, that wide one there is just a sheetrock. So you just kind of get some, you know, get some of that fairing compound on there, lay it down flat, spread it, and then uh, wipe off as much as you can, especially where I am here. I wanted to show this, you know, this is me working on the corner, the transom corner here, which uh, I've talked about. and. I will show and I'm kind of using a few of those points but as we go through here it's a lot of new stuff you know in this one especially dealing with the paint um, you know and there's it may not be the most uh, exciting uh, video I've ever done but I think it's pretty informative especially for you know people like me so you can see right there where I'm using that scraper on the edge I'm, I'm I'm putting the pressure away from that corner trying to keep it flat and right here I'm pushing it away, the, the pressure hard away from that corner so that it, it leaves that if anything a little bit proud so I can come back and sand on it. Kind of the same thing here you see me I'm going to load up the edge of that and then I'm pushing hard on the right you can kind of see the angle of it a little bit and I'm trying to make sure that I leave like I'm not trying to scrape it all off I want to leave a really thin layer right there towards the edge and then uh, you know I showed you earlier you know that how when I was sanding holding that long board flat it wasn't touching the edge so I'm trying to build that up and make that so that when I come back and I resand it again maybe it'll be a little flatter and, you know, maybe we'll show that but I think I committed not, <clears throat> not showing any sanding this this video this is where I talked about kind of messing up that chine where it comes in so I'm just working that again once again giving a little description this is kind of foreshadowing because I'm going to come back and show this at a later date uh, you can also see um, that that fairing compound is starting to kick off a little bit it's getting a little thicker a little harder to pull so I mixed up a little too much and it's really hot outside like it's it's probably almost 90 degrees in the shade so while that stuff takes a good little while, I mean, it gives you some working time, you know, in that hot, humid conditions, you, 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 you're better off to make multiple batches than you are to make a bigger batch and try and hurry up. So that's kind of all I'm working through here. this morning we're going to finally go ahead and put some color on it make it all one color got the high bill you can see i got the tent all opened up it's going to be a warm day today but as you can see it's pretty but uh pretty much got it uh i think as far as i'm willing to take it um kind of finished doing some fairing yesterday uh hopefully the video worked on that some of these little spots you can see but uh we're gonna about to uh just put a big uh, a small particle bag up inside the shop vac so we're going to go ahead and vacuum the thing down then we're going to wipe it down with acetone or uh, denatured alcohol and then we're going to put the uh first coat of high build on it may get well first coat probably get about three coats on it today but uh all in all we're gonna we're gonna see what she looks like and we still got some issues which i know i do um we're gonna deal with those down the road but we're gonna move the ball so here we go all right, so you saw me. I put some of that little, those little spots of fairing compound. That last little video, I'd already sanded those back. So here we go. I'm just, uh, you know, that fairing compound produces a really, really fine flower-like dust. So I'm going over this, trying to suck up as much of that dust as I can. And then uh, here you can see me coming back, and I'm just wiping the whole hole down with. Uh, denatured alcohol and this may be the second or the third time because I've been sanding on this thing for quite a while you can see all the different colors and spots and this that and the other <clears throat> and I was very tempted to try and repair some of those other spots that I knew were there uh, and I'm really really glad that I didn't because I think what happened here is that I spent too much time on stuff that I could see and I may have been creating more problems 
than uh, if I would have went ahead and just put the super build on and moved on. All right, so we're fixing to put the first layer on. Trying to get everything laid out here. Got a, let's see, called a mini coater. I think it's a mohair roller. We're already taking it with some masking tape. Um, yeah, some blue tape and rolled the heck out of it up and down it to get any fuzz or anything off of that. I wiped all this off with uh, uh, alcohol, denatured alcohol. Same thing here as I sanded this down, wiped it down with alcohol because I'm gonna have to reuse that one. So my plan is um, I'm gonna start with just kind of a shot in the dark. Um, I'm gonna put at least three coats on here. So what I'm gonna try and do is put 16 ounces of the Super Build white which is this alex seal super build white It'll be a little tough getting it out of that gallon can and then, so it's one to one so we'll put 16 ounces of converter in there then we'll mix that up and let that you know go through its 15 minutes induction time you'll see that where it just sits here for 15 minutes and then then we're going to add because i'm rolling this um the specs and all call for I think up to 25% re reducer um, if you were spraying it. So I'm only going to do like, I'm going to start with 10% just because I don't, I don't mind if it goes on a little bit thick. Um, but I still think 10%, you know, maybe 10 to 12. Um, uh, I'm going to think uh, probably 10%. I'm going to go with 10% just because the math will be easy. And then I'll put 10% of the reducer in there. So obviously with 16 ounces and 16 ounces, that's going to get me pretty pretty full on this one so i'm gonna actually pour it in this uh which i've i've wiped out now it's brand new i've wiped it all with alcohol but it'll also make it easier to pour in there and then i'll just try and reuse this one on the superfield may have a specific one for each paint but we'll see how it goes so this will be the first go around so we will see <clears throat> i'm gonna have to go back and look because so if it's one to one to 10%, is it 10% of one or 10% of the total? Um, I'm gonna assume that it's 10% of the total. Uh, so we shall see, or maybe it's 10% of one. I'm gonna have to go look at the specs and come back and figure that out. All right. So this is actually the second attempt because I did all this and I wasn't entirely sure how much of the reducer here to put in so i had to go look that up get that make sure i knew what that is so i'm going to use the model off of uh boat works today that uh andy put out there which was like he was using eight ounces eight ounces and four ounces okay but he was doing that with the finish primer so I'm gonna go like a 8, 8, 10, so, or, or because this is a much bigger boat than what he was painting, I'm gonna go 12, 12, so that'll be 24. And then, uh, let's see, 10% of that would be 2.4 ounces. So we'll do about five ounces, so we'll do 12, 12, five. That's what we're gonna do, 12, 12, five. And that'll be a total of 29 ounces of paint, um, which should all fit in here. Sh should all fit in here, and it may be a little light, so may have to do it, do a little bit more. But like I said, he was doing eight, and so I'm gonna do half again as much. So we got these little paint filters, medium mesh. Uh, you know, I think the fact this is this is like super build. It's it's uh, it's gonna be less critical. To, that that there be you know stuff in it, but uh, we're gonna give it a shot anyway. So we're gonna open this up, mix these two. So it'll be one part of this, one part of this, and then we're gonna go with uh, like I said, we're gonna do about 20%, somewhere in there, somewhere between 15, 20% of this um, to make sure this is. We'll give the data a go and see what happens. So very excited, very nervous. Um, took me a while to get this stuff in, so it's kind of why I got as much as I did here because I didn't want to run out. So we'll uh, 
we'll take care of this and do the best we can. All once again, all this stuff is cleaned up. I've wiped everything down. Uh, if I have to, if I get too much in that and I want to use this, I, this is brand new and I've cleaned it with alcohol, so it should work. I'm also going to try maybe these little things because these are so full. I, you know, may do that. I may do some masking tape. I just have to see which one. Oh, this stuff is pretty thick. It'll take a little while to mix this up. Oh, look at it. It's going to take a while to mix this up. Man. Look at that. I might have to go get my drill motor. I might do that and get my drill motor and my coat hanger. So this may or may not be advised, but uh, I've done this quite a few times. I know we have enough material to make chicken. You know, all I'm trying to do here is just get this a little more, a little better mixed together, kind of break it up. It's pretty bad, so we're going to give it a a little use some machinery here uh, y'all could be critical about my manual paint mixing designs or whatever here I generally like to uh, make it two-sided and then make it flat on the bottom so I can kind of get the stuff off the bottom so you have to be very very specific about how you design this or else it won't mix the paint that gives me a little bit of I don't know we'll see probably destroying the whole integrity of this paint. That's just how my luck goes. Trying to get an idea there. It's starting to kind of go back in the solution a little bit. See what she looks like. Oh my gosh, it's still thick as it can be. Okay, expect it to have a lot of solids in it. I expect it to take about five hours to get through that paint filter too. I ain't sure we're going to be able to filter this. Probably not going to filter it because it's this thick. And we're going to be sanding it back. So I'm going to go ahead and make that executive decision now. Okay. This is thin. Okay, we get another stick. Oh. Yeah, 
Look at that. That looks like a professional mixer. Feel like a tourist buying that stuff. <clears throat> but maybe it'll work. So again, it's a brand new clean. And we're gonna go to 10. Let's see. So 10 is about that one, so we're gonna go one to one. And then we'll do be able to do uh then we can just look up here and do our 10, 20, 30, or whatever. So, let's try the thickest one first. Oh my God, that's heavy. in there and there's 20 Hey, so far I'm, I'm digging these little things. You can see, it kind of keeps it all in the can. Oh, we're short. Yeah, we're short on that one. We gotta come all the way up to twenty-six. We went a little heavier than I thought. Yeah, gotta look at this. Almost made a mistake. Almost made a mistake right there. So you have to mix this up and give it 15 minutes. Tell you this is pretty thick right here so yeah we may go all the way to 20.
Yeah, my little watch here. 15 minutes. All right, this will be the last time to look at it. No color on it. But I got some things in here. Like I'm gonna try and get, see these little bit of holes, just where there was a little fairing compound that can get in there. I'm gonna fill all that up, but I'm gonna try and show you a few things. Like you can see along these chines, a little, little groove where I couldn't get it to do just right. So I'm hoping that, that that'll kind of, that this high build and all will just kind of work it out. Let me see if I can find another little, like here's a little, hopefully that you can see. I mean, it's only as you see my thumb, it's, it's only that big, but that's like a little bitty hole. That's the little stuff I was trying to patch up last time. Let me see if I could find any more. Like this. This right here has got some, it's hard to tell, but it's it's got a little bit of wave and a little bit of stuff. So we're gonna be real anxious to see how all that fixes up in this. You know, it's kind of another, you got that, which you can see, that's just the end of my finger. A little bitty stuff like that, that I'm just tired of fighting. We're gonna go ahead and put some color on it and hope that that uh, shows us what, but this will be kind of the last little image of it there. We got the transom here that's looking pretty good. So I imagine it's gonna look quite a bit different when I do this later. We'll try and get at least three coats on it today, but we'll see. But uh, let me see if I can find another spot over here like this is one i guess this would be like pinholes you can see how small they are for, compared to my finger we're going to just see how this high build and i'll remember that we'll come back and look at those if i don't somebody remind me we're about to get after it So as you can see, it's now 1.30 in the afternoon. So it's gone from about 11 o'clock to 1.30. Now I did run to the store and while I was up there, I, I knew that once I started this, I was gonna stay on it. So I did stop and get me a bite to eat. But uh, now let's talk about this this uh, super build going on. You can see here, it looks like it, it looks super thick going on. Of course, I showed how thick it was. And, but by the time you put the reducer and all in it, um, it did, uh, it did thin down quite a bit. Now I was using at least 20% um, reducer in it and I'm only pouring uh, a little bit at a time and I should have put a top on that because I did, I do think that I noticed that towards the end of that batch some of that reducer may have flashed off. So what I'm just trying to do here is I didn't want to start on the edge and have ripples go all the way down the, you know, down the transom there. So I started back a little bit and I'm kind of sneaking up on the transom there until I can get I can figure out you know how this stuff wants to go down you know I'm not a I'm not I don't do a lot of painting uh, don't don't like it uh, I'm not very good at it which is obviously you can see I don't do a lot and I ain't very good but uh, what I found is is that if I just moved about a roller and a half or two rollers ahead of where I was and spread that and then just kept working behind me and and kept moving forward like that you'll see especially when I speed it up here in a while but I wanted to run this full speed you know I'm not going super slow I'm not super taking my time I'm just you know I'm I'm nervous about doing this but uh, you know here we go and you can see that I just kind of jump out there a little bit ahead of myself and work back and then I I'm you know those chines are a little bit funny because I'm trying to keep it from running all down the side of the boat so you know just a little bit at a time you know my goal at the beginning of this day was to put down three coats of this super build and you know, I didn't, I didn't hit that for sure. Um, we, it was a very productive day in the end. By the time I got started and got to this point, I was really rolling. And now having done it, you know, I feel a whole lot better about using these paint products and stuff going forward and, and, and understanding the way the cups work and how to just, you know, it's, it's not that difficult once you understand what to do and how it works. Now, I don't know why that was so difficult for me. But 
I'm just laying this stuff down. I showed you a bunch of the problems and the stuff and the issues that were there. So we're gonna lay we're gonna lay this down uh, multiple coats, and then we're gonna come back and put a guide coat on it, which we'll talk about that probably in the next uh, video. And then you know go back to sanding, which you know we'll we'll show a little bit of that. Probably show a lot of it because there's probably a lot coming. But uh, putting this super build on, it was really nice to see the boat all come out to one color. And you know, while it's good, you know, having it all one color also shows you a lot. And I thought it, you know, I thought it looked pretty good um, before. And putting this, putting it all white in there, it uh, it really shows you some things. But by and large so far, you know, I've heard a lot of good things about these Alex Hill products. Um, this is the first one I've used. Uh, the stuff went on really well. The pot life was good. Once again, it's sunny, it's hot, it's, it's, it's 90 something degrees in the shade. Um, the wind's blowing a little bit. I do have a fan blowing through there just to keep some of the fumes and stuff out. It's, I didn't find it too bad. Of course, this is an open air situation. Um, I'm also conceding, I know that dust and all this stuff is an issue, but I'm putting these coats on knowing that I'm coming back sanding on top of them, so I'm not, it's just too damn hot to be. Well, here's most of it done. So I've got all of this side, all the bottom, and all the transom. Just like this one little piece right here. Spin around. I like that one little piece, so that's a total of 48 ounces of, of primer and converter and then you know 20% reducer on top of that. Um, I actually had a lot of problems. I was just talking about how hot it was. My, my little GoPro cameras kept cutting off for temperature. Now obviously I'm running them um, on a long time so I have batteries hooked to them to kind of charge them or run off of and so I think that might have generated a little more heat than normal but they've never cut off and both of them were cutting off I couldn't keep them running which is kind of why you'll see me jump a little bit on different portions of the boat but you know this is uh this is just me going around I think this is the second coat and it's you know it's starting to look really really smooth um it's it's from the distance you know obviously there's some texture and some little orange peel and all coming off the roller I also had to um when I started with the second coat I went I started with a new roller just because that roller that stuff had been on that roller for a long time and I, I was worried that I don't remember that it was getting firm or you know or anything like that but I just wanted to make sure that I started with a firm roller I, I didn't want one roller to be the downfall of this whole process or screw it up so uh, like right there where I'm working remember I was talking about sanding on that chine and how it came together and all that i mean that you can kind of see there uh it looked pretty good and so we're just going to keep working on it right here um coming all the way around kind of running through this pretty fast you can see it but to me it's just cool to watch it over time and you can see the tent shaking there's you know winds winds picking up pretty big you know a lot of storms in the area this weekend but i was very very happy to get this this uh super build on there once again it was for whatever reason i was really nervous about you know using this stuff and attacking it but i'm glad that i did i'm glad i did it and for anybody else out there you know just you know what's the the worst thing that i could have done was failed not i had to clean it off but it's just you know worrying about it and uh i've never done it before you know now that i've done it I, i'm not worried at all about any step going forward here so as pertains to the painting side so it's just one of those things i had to get over and get done and now i feel a whole lot better but it's kind of gonna, you know, won't be a whole lot more to this video. Um, getting this done was a big, big step. It was a long day. Yeah, you can see it's 6.30 here. And, uh, you know, here's some of the pictures, you know, just it, that it does really, really look good. Um, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna learn some things tomorrow with this, but uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, I appreciate it. I'm gonna get back on this thing and finish it for sure.